1923, um, there was a study of American intelligence uh, done by Carl Brigham. Um, E.G. Boring was asked to review Carl Brigham's study um, just to see if there was any kind of validity behind it. Now, the reason that this is monumental in the history of psychology is um, it was a study that noted the decline of intelligence in America, and he correlated that with low-scoring immigrants. Um, these findings drastically impacted some immigration policies, but in addition to that, it later lays down the foundation for future intelligence testing and IQ. Um, so he questioned whether or not his findings illustrated a representative sample. Um, that was boring thoughts. He questioned whether it represented uh, it illustrated representative samples. He criticized that the he criticized the book for proper inferential procedures and their relationship to st statistics. Um, it was noted that Brigham was known for ignoring anything that was contradictory to what he stated or what he believed in, um, kind of making it seem like it was like one in a million, like, oh, those are rare oddities. Um, now, in addition to this, though, this is an important, um, this is important to note because it gained a lot of criticism in 1923. Unlike some of the earlier um, IQ tests that we discussed, this was something that was seen as very racially biased, very um, against lower class individuals. And there was many arguments that explained that his theory of IQ could easily be changed because if IQ can be manipulated, then it's not necessarily something that's hereditarily based, like he's trying to state in his racial biases, but that education can affect IQ. Um, in addition to that, though, his findings do end up uh, influencing further intelligence testing, like I stated, um, such as that of the SAT.